we looked at removing an array element by shifting elements to the left. So for example, here I have an array with elements 1 to 6, and I call remove on index 2, which will be 3. In this case, I will shift all the elements on the right of the element that I want to remove over to the left. So I'm going to be removing 4, 5, 6 over to the left by 1. After shifting each element to the left, I'll have an array that looks like this. 1, 2, 4 used to be 3. We replaced it with the element on the right. 5, 6, and then the duplicate 6. We remove the last element since it is shifted to the left, and we end up with an array 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. As you can imagine, this is not a gas-deficient way to remove an element from an array. So in this video, I'll show you a more gas-deficient way to remove an element from an array. The basic idea for removing an array element more efficiently than shifting each element to the left is to replace the element that you want to remove with the last element. For example, let's say that I have an array of 1, 2, 3, 4, and I want to remove the array element at index 1. So that will be 2. I am going to replace 2 with the last element, which is 4. So I bring this 4 over to in place of 2, and then I remove the last element. So I will end up with an array 1, 4, 3. Let's take a look at another example. So continuing with this array, now I have an array 1, 4, 3. And now let's say that I want to remove the last element, which will be at index 2. So I want to remove this 3. I'm going to replace the last element with the last element. Since 3 is already the last element, there is no change. And then finally, I pop the last element, and I end up with 1 and 4. Notice that this algorithm doesn't shift elements of the array to the left. It only requires two operations, replacing the element to remove, and then popping the last element. So you can see that this is a more efficient algorithm than this one over here. However, as you can see, removing the element this way preserves the order of the array, since we're shifting elements to the left, whereas this more efficient way of removing an array element, the order is not preserved since we're replacing the element that we want to remove with the last element. So we're shuffling around the array elements. Okay, let's now write the code for this algorithm. First, we'll replace the element that we want to remove with the last element. So we'll type r of index is equal to the last element, which will be r of r dot length minus 1. After we replace the element with the last element, we need to pop the last element. So we'll do that by typing r dot pop. And this completes the algorithm. Let's write a test using these scenario as test cases, and then we'll execute the test in Remix. I'll name this function test. It's going to be external. We'll first initialize the array to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, we'll remove the array element at index 1. So I'll type remove 1. After removing one element, we should have an array that looks like this. So we'll assert that the length of the array is equal to 3. The first element is equal to 1, the second is equal to 4, and the third is equal to 3. Next, we'll write a test for this situation. If this part of the code passes, then we know that the array looks like this, 1, 4, and 3. So when we call remove, the second index of the array, we should have an array that looks like this, 1 and 4. I'll call remove the second index. After we remove the last element, we should have an array that looks like 1 and 4. The length of the array should be equal to 2, the first element should be equal to 1, and the second element should be equal to 4. Let's compile this, deploy it, and then run the test. So I'll hit Control S, and then deploy the contract, scroll down, expand the contract, and then call test. And we pass the test. So in summary, a gas deficient way to remove an element from an array is to replace the element that you want to remove and then remove the last element. 